Hey, how's it going everybody? Got more truck content for you today. So the plan for today, the plan for the truck um, is to do a little bit of a paint correction. So what had happened was uh, took the truck, took the family out to the river, uh, some river that we have over here in the area. And I went through a few trails that were, you know, quite narrow. So all the shrub and trees and, you know, branches really scratched up the truck. You can see there. Uh, nothing too bad. It looks like they're all just, you know, clear coat scratches. If you can kind of see. There are all these little swirl marks and scratches along the side. Even got on, you know, some of these panels here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that, but the paint should all be fine. Nothing too deep. Like I said, they all look like clear coat scratches. So I kind of wanted to give you guys a before and after doing this process. Maybe this, you can see a little better. See all these scratches along right here. And it, it is on both sides and on the top there. So we're gonna use my polisher that I have, I'll show you guys. All right guys, so with the polisher, this is what we got going on. I have this uh, wireless uh, polisher buffer type thing. And we're gonna be using these uh, orange foam correction pad these are you know should be it says right on the box you know it should be good for uh swirl marks and scratches that type of stuff now i mean i don't have that exact wax but we're going to be using the mcguire's ultimate compound which is probably one of the best things you can get on the market for you know paint correction and swirl marks and scratches and stuff like that all right so we have the polisher set up here all right guys so this is a little bit of a after so i just did this area here haven't hit the fender flare yet but look at that it's actually coming out a lot better than i honestly expected <laughs> all right so i got the whole fender completed now fender flares look everything's coming out great i mean a little faint line there i'll give it a second touch up a few maybe one line right there that i'll touch up but other than that most of them are gone at least the big ones at least you know the really noticeable ones that yeah it's coming along great touch it up a little bit more i'll do that on the second <clears throat> on the second pass but look at that stopped about right there ish so that's the polished side and then that's the side that i haven't touched yet
the side of the bed. Here's the finished product. There's a few swirl marks and stuff from the from the polish compound. So I'll go back and you know just wipe that down. But at least so you guys can get an idea. Pretty much everything came out. That was already there. And we got a few little ones here. They're actually very deep right here on this little panel. They're kind of hard to take off. So you can see a little bit, but man, it's great. Faint, some faint scratches here. Nothing though, nothing really. Much though, not much. Man, that compound really works wonders looks good these i'll probably hit tomorrow because these actually stayed pretty deep oh, these are probably the deeper ones here this little panel right here I'm trying to give you guys a good shot i can't tell if you can see it or not but i'll probably just hit that one tomorrow other than that this panel 
looks good. Everything looks good, maybe faint, faint scratches. I mean, we're pretty much done here. I'm just trying to give you guys a look around on how it came out. Not sure how much longer I'm gonna be able to record, but it came out pretty good. I suggest you guys do it. Even if you guys, you know, don't have major scratches like I did in the beginning, you can just do it just because you want your car to look better. Car or truck, this ain't ever coming off. <laughs> That's straight paint, but yeah, guys. Hopefully this helps some people or somebody found it entertaining.